Hello my friends, welcome to my rapid review of the brand new MAC and Gabriel Zamora Laura Lee lipsticks. I'm excited to share my opinions with you of these limited edition YouTuber releases. If you have never heard of Laura Lee and or Gabriel Zamora, they are both YouTubers. It is very rare, I don't even know if it's ever happened, that MAC has collaborated with YouTubers. They've chosen a handful of YouTubers around the world to collaborate with on lipsticks, and they are limited edition releases. MAC was kind enough to send me these ahead of time. They do release tomorrow, which is April 20th. Now, the kicker is you can only get the lipsticks from the country of origin of your creator. So, these are the only two we'll be able to get in the United States, which was a total bummer. I think that was a huge mistake on Max Bard. I really wish that they had released the entire collection all over the world. Now, the immediate reaction from my Facebook community for what these lipsticks were like is they were all pretty much exactly the same neutral shades. You'll see in just a second that they are definitely not the same, these two lipsticks. So let's go ahead. I'm going to wipe off my lip balm and we're going to go ahead and try on Laura's shade first. So this is Laura's shade. I will put a picture of Laura wearing her shade right there. It is a very light nude colored shade. I'm not sure if this one is for me. I feel like it's a little too matchy matchy with my skin tone. It's just a little too close to it. So I don't particularly prefer this shade on me by itself. It is really nice with a dark lip liner and it's nice to top over other lipsticks. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna get some good use out of it, but I'm not the biggest fan of this one on me by itself. Now this is Gabriel's shade. As you can see, it is a little bit deeper. I know Gabriel said that he had a lot of skin tones in mind when he created this. I do feel like this is a little bit more wearable for me. It's a little bit more my shade. I should have it open to show you what it looks like as I'm like flinging it around. I feel like he did a great job making this like warm, rusty, nudie, brownish kind of color. I do really enjoy it. I don't know if I like it with this outfit and this eyeshadow that I'm wearing, but I do like it on the whole and I think I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. You may know that Laura and Gabriel have become friends through doing collaborations and things with different brands together. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like to mix Gabriel's shade with Laura's shade. And this is actually my favorite way to wear both shades is to have them together. Now, this is one thing I want to say about Max collaboration with these two particular YouTubers. I have met a lot of YouTubers, big name YouTubers, through uh, through Ipsy. Ipsy has a lot of events, and I usually get to go to their cocktail parties, and I get to mingle with lots of people. I've also met some bigger creators at IMATS and things like that before they got rid of letting bigger creators kind of be at IMATS. So I've met a lot of people, and I can tell you that some of the people that I've met the best way I can describe it is they're extremely dismissive. Um, that's the way I interpret it, where I'll go up and I say, hi, you know, it's nice to meet you, my name is Jen, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, hi, yeah. And you know, they kind of walk away. I can tell you Laura and Gabriel are some of the nicest people I've ever met. Laura, Gabriel, Tati, Kathleen Lights, those are some of the nicest people, most genuine down to earth people that I have met through Ipsy. And the thing about Gabriel specifically that I wanna mention is that when he started with Ipsy, he's one of the Ipsy stylists, he had like 8,000 subscribers or something like that. Now of course his channel is getting huge, but even when Mac decided they were gonna collaborate with him, he still only had like 20,000, maybe 30,000 subscribers, and I think that was a a huge move on Max's part to pick Gabriel rather than picking an influencer that had a bigger following. So I was, I really admired that. And Laura, I feel like is another great choice in that she has a very fun, bubbly, just relatable personality, at least for me, I very much relate to her. And I just feel like they picked genuinely nice people. And that made me really happy to see because you know, you like to see good things happen to good people. And I wanna thank you so much for watching this review. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely make sure that you subscribe so you can watch more of my review videos. This is probably the least detailed of any review I've done in a really long time, but I'm on my way to ukulele lessons, so I gotta get going. So mad love to you, and I will see you in a video soon. Bye!